Hey guys, I'm back with another video game review on the line. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a game I recently beat at the weekend, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Now, you may be wondering why I don't have a physical copy of the game. It's because I played it on the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection, which is like PS4 remasters, and that was a download, a free download. So I don't have a physical copy of the game, but it was still pretty good. It focuses on Nathan Drake, an American explorer who apparently is the descendant of Francis Drake, the famous English explorer. And he goes off to search for the city of El Dorado, which is supposedly made entirely of gold. Along the way, he encountered numerous adventures with his, with his mate Sullivan, or Sully as he calls him. And they encountered many enemies as well, so they have all gunfights and such. I, I love the I love the gunfights, the brilliance. And there's also like puzzles you need to solve and you can actually jump from ledges, like acrobatic skills, stuff like that. And um, and, the, and then you have to face off against rival explorers on the hunt for El Dorado. You even find a German U-boat in the Amazon rainforest, like in the, in the river, and you explore it. And it's basically a, a good time to be had. And um, yeah, I like the game very much. And... Uh, Towards the end of the game, I actually encountered some rather interesting creatures. They look like, they're kind of like wild creatures that acted sort of like zombies. Turns out they were victims of the curse of El Dorado. Basically, whoever opened a small coffin that contained a dead body would be cursed. Would basically turn wild and uh, attack anyone in sight. And so, um... So basically, every of those wild creatures that I saw were actually Spaniards. The Spaniards never left the island when they were looking for El Dorado. Then Francis Drake, he died on the island. But of course, this is just a video game. There's nothing to say that that happened in real life. Nothing to say that happened. And the boss fight against Navarro is pretty cool. You just have to face off against his enemies, like his soldiers, and then you chase after him. And then... Uh, you, uh... Ah! And then, on the helipad, at least I think it's a helipad, you have to... It's like timing. You have to wait until he stops firing to get under the next cover. Then jump the cover and then charge at him. But you can't charge at him from the other cover you're at, otherwise he'll kill you with one shot. Like a one-hit kill enemy. One-hit kill enemy. Yeah, you know what they're like. Um, and so, Navarro is beaten, and... He's pulled down into the ocean along with the coffin. And so the secret of El Dorado is safe and the curse wasn't released on the world. So in a way, while on the search for finding the treasure, Nathan Drake saved the world. So all in all, Uncharted Drake's Fortune is a pretty good game. I, I like it very much and I guarantee you'll get a good sense of adventure out of it. You can find it on the PS4 Nathan Drake collection or you can find the, the original version of the game which I'm guessing is released on PS3. Anyway, it's a good game, and I, highly, and I highly recommend it. I'll be... Be sure to be on the lookout for the next video. I'm not sure what it'll be, but it'll be a good one. And who knows, maybe next time I'll do... Maybe next video I'll do a review of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. I have not beaten that game yet, but hopefully I'll get to completing it. Beating it, even. See you next time, guys.